on the count of three. One, two, three. Just tell me what you feel. What are your feelings? Very relaxed. I saw several things. I see um, I saw a stone bridge. I saw some sort of port on an electronic device. I saw telephone wires. Let's go back to the breach. Describe it for me, please. What does it look like? What color? I think it's, in, it's, it's got its grays and brown earth tones. It's a foot for a footpath. It's nothing, nothing too big. What is it made out? Um, well, it's uh, stones and it looks like concrete. Okay, fine. It's grass around it. I see buildings in the back. My, I think it's Central Park. Okay, great. Look at yourself. Look down at your feet. How do you look? What do you wear? Are you in the body right now? Yeah. I mean, if I look, I'm wearing, you know, you know, I think I'd be in uh, it John, John uh, Mitchell, John Foray. Uh, okay, oh. so you're back in that time? That's the first thing I saw, so. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and continue looking at him. What is he doing? You can fast forward to see what happens next. I think he had an office in the Upper West Side. I don't see anything specific. I just see sort of energetic movement. Okay. Um, he's stressed at one point. He's, he throws his brow a little bit, but he's genuinely, uh, generally pretty focused. He's, um, he's, he's, um, or I can't, I can't, he's, there's people that want to, um, sort of collectivize or, you know, something, he, but he wants, he doesn't want that to happen. They want to collectivize, uh, like, housing or something. I, I don't know. Right, so you're looking at him from a third person perspective, right? You're not in his body right now. No, the first, yeah, the first view I could look down and see black leather um, shoes and uh, wool, wool dress pants, but now I see just, it's, I'm, I'm not in his body, no. Okay, so go to some significant moment when something important is happening in that scene in his life whenever it is this looks like it may be like a, a dream or some sort of vision of his because it's a um it's 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 technology it's some sort of cube with what looks like um, metal scaffolding around it. And um, there were mushrooms growing out of it. I don't know the significance of that. Okay, we c you can connect, connect to him and ask him what is the, what are those mushrooms for?
to hear his answer. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sort of listening. There's nothing really. He's. He, I don't know. I mean, it's. Okay. Describe the cube for me. How do how do you see it? Like what what's the color? What is it made out? It's uh like a a white, and it looks like it's composite. Right. I see the same. Does it look kind of shiny, uh, white? Yeah. Yeah. Almost um, like a plasticky, glassy something like that. Yes. Yeah, I see a warning on this. There's like a warning on the side of it, maybe. Yeah. When I ask him what it is for, he said to collect thoughts, to amplify thoughts, to connect to the neural cells and to neurons in the brain and to rewire neural connections and send programming into them by rewiring. That's what I heard. Okay, now let's see how he... Um, do you see him connected to you? Do you see him, um, his life very much like influencing you in this life? Yeah, I have. I, I think that I'm somewhat I'm guided in many ways through the city, through you know his footsteps maybe. Right. Yeah, you can go to to another maybe significant moment or something important is happening in his life. So I think of this dream I had when I was very young, mm. when I was walking in the clouds, and the cloud broke and I began to fall. And this came up last night when I saw his cause of death. I think of this dream I had when I was young. What is his cause of death? Do you see this? Let's go to his last moment, the last moment of his life. And he's about to leave his body. Let's go to that moment. Well, I'd have to say I'm cheating because I, I you know, looked it up. He, he fell out of an airplane. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's direct uh, connection there. Okay, let's leave. Let's let well. Let's see how what what happens to him after this. Yeah, uh, this accident happens. I also see some sort of um, monastery. Oh, describe him to me. Do look him. There's someone in full lotus, a shaved head in a really beautiful monastery. It looks like, the, you know, the there's looks like there's exotic technology there. The walls sort of glow. And there's, there's definitely gold. Um, I see a type of oval. Right. Is it you or he's? How is he related to you? Says, you know. says, he says it's me. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So let's find out where it is. Is it an alternative reality or would be a parallel life of yours? Asking for a clue. Not getting much. What did you say? Saw like you saw like a like a bird. 
and uh, a, like a long neck for mm -hmm. an, an, an animal I didn't quite recognize, like a um, like a snout of an animal I did not quite recognize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I just saw like that black sand you mentioned about in your writing. And I see like a long bridge, but it's like a portal. But when you get close to it, it's like a long, long, almost like me metallic golden bridge. It goes to this. It's like a reality outside of realities, you know, in between type thing. It's like it's in space. It's not on any planet, but um, it's almost like the astral platform with this monastery that what you described and I see the square um, kind of dancing type thing around it. I see a garden and a fountain there in the middle a sanctuary of some sort and it feels like it feels like it's somewhere you would go um, in between lives like it's one of the um, programs that you go in between lives that's what I feel and you become him and they let you rest because here I see the um, dragon flying by Dude, that might have been what I thought was the bird yeah because he's huge his body is big his tail is very long he's got the wings but first I saw his like face and it's long it's almost like dark red color was lots of um around you know like the um spikes around but it's two rows of them that's all i see it pretty long snout too kind of type how do you see the dragon when yeah as right before you described the two rows i saw i got a little visit i saw yellow eyes on the dragon black and red and right yeah hmm. it looks like he's the one who is actually talking to you and telling you what the next mission as he says is gonna be we can touch him and see who he really is yeah, he's a dragon one. Looks from like from a Draco constellation. And let's go see how when exactly and whatever in what reality he got connected to you. Let's go to that moment. It feels like he very much owns and controls you. I saw like a, a really brilliant patch of light on a stairs, almost like if you were walking up the stairs you could fall through it. And then I sort of stepped through that and I found like a really beautiful field that like, looks like it's much brighter and much um, more brilliant colors than a normal field. Right. Where is it? Is it like a building or just suspended in the air? It does look like it goes on forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It almost looks like a staircase from one bubble reality to another bubble reality. That's how I see it. Because it, I see at the bottom bubble reality, there's like castles and tall buildings. It's almost like a mixture of 
old looking castles and high rises but they look differently they're round in shape they're very tall I saw like a like a castle looking house before you uh, with sort of like high spears on it mm, yeah seems like the dragons live there but i feel like they always bring people like humans in there too and that's where they teach them and train them for different battlefields that came to me but i feel like that i see him coming to you a lot in your childhood and asking you if you wanted to write and uh, that's how he gets you you know he's like um in between those ssp programs like a contractor of some sort mm, influencer you know who would get your permission to yet be used again in each and every life and uh, well, not like a handler but more like a negotiator and um, slash he would pretend to be a friend and the one who leads you and helps you learn more because I mean he teaches you a lot when you're little he gives you a lot of knowledge and it, it makes it interesting for you he tells you what abilities you have what you can do with those and uh, it, it's like a game it starts with the game each and every life So it's like I see 58 lives that he's been doing it with you like that. But he's like sand by the um by the Dragos. And I feel like they have like a staff of those dragons. You know, like dragons on staff. Uh, they're doing it with kids. Because the whole sanctuary and you there it just like um dreaming a dream that what came to me like you can um they can reprogram you in that um in that uh monaster monastery when he comes to you talks to you it's almost like he puts new subconscious programs into your energy body but then all of a sudden i see your um i see you on mars I see you in some lab, looks dark gray. Was the mirror on the left? It's like a double sided mirror, and I see people in military watching you. And I also see like a chair with long handles. It's soft, the handles are soft, the chair is soft, like leather type thing, like kind of old looking leather and then they attach it's almost like um helmet with those um different cords of wires on your head and they would talk in your head but you wouldn't see them but there's a big guy maybe that's the old man that you refer to because i see a like tall guy bold was little next to it on both sides and then both sides those um you have humans you have reptilians type beings and uh, he's the one who looks human but he's like kind of like very high very tall like he's seven or eight feet tall so in the uniform military uniform Looks like a um, dark gray color, like that. And what do you see? Do you see that? Yeah, I saw a lab before that, and I saw tables in a lab, but it, it was like this mirror reality where everything kind of goes on forever, this sort of astral plane. Um, and then those, those chairs are a little too familiar to me. I, I saw them recently in a, in a video game, and they gave gave me a little bit of a start, um, like a you know a jump. 
Oh, um, but yeah, very they're very sleek uh, looking, sort of uh, modern. Well, they're you know, very very modern. And, um, and you know they're talking with each other um, telepathically. He says that this boy has cybernetic abilities. No idea what it is. But we should test him. We should test him and improve him and amplify or enhance. He says enhance his abilities. We can make him a superhuman. And then I hear and I hear the word. Um, that we could use him for Kruger, for Dark Fleet. And that's what you wrote, Lick Soldaten, you said that too. So, but it's almost like they're trying to com put together a plan what kind of programs you can run. But I also, at the same time, see you running in the World War II as a, as a soldier. And it's like in parallel because what they've done is they it's almost as if you would shoot like a wave of energy or in their terms it's a wave of training a certain soul throughout all the parallel lives and realities the soul goes through at the same time. So Right now they are training you, but in fact they're doing it in each and every of those 58 parallel lives at the same time. And all this training comes together, and that's why you see this never-ending mirror. It's what came to me, it's like a um, labyrinth of mirrored realities that no matter where you go, you would always end up in yet another mission and yeah. it would be non-stop. Yeah, they would do... You know, it's really interesting because when I see you at different ages, it says you at five, seven, like every two years, twelve, you know, and I see you in this the same room and it has this and they like don't talk directly to you. They talk to you through that technology that they attach to your head. And it's like loud in your head and you will talk to them telepathically because they don't really want you to see them. And a lot of time there would be those would be different beings because they also see some interesting looking beings with like a soldier with a wolf head next to him there's like a gray but his skin is pretty dark gray and yeah. the eyes dark blue eyes instead of black mm -hmm. well, yeah they're, they're um they say they're from Pegasus. I like them. The Pegasus constellation. Yeah. That's what they say. The the royal. They sort of have a royal blue bluish appearance, and they've presented themselves to me, and I've seen them. You know, just like their holographic image above me, and that's been pretty. That was powerful. But uh, oh yeah, but they have a negative agenda, though. They're, they're malevolent beings. Because I, I touch their DNA, I touch them. There's uh, the greys are, they're all like high hybrids, and they have two percent of Syrian in them, four percent of Andromedian, and then the rest is Zeta reticular, Zeta greys, and then I'm the. Seeing Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I don't know. That they did some pretty awful stuff to me, like they chopped me up and oh, right. put me through. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, Oksana. I'm going to go use the bath. I forgot to go before this. I'm just going to go use the bathroom quickly. And... <laughs> Me too. I want to go too. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're together on the same page. Oh, crazy. And we're back. Yes, it's funny. But I think there's something about those beings that make you vibrate and your physical body reacts a certain way too. Yeah, those wolves, wolf beings, it seems like they're very powerful in terms of they can... Um, control their molecular structure they can shape shift whatever they want to be you know because i see them i see one standing in front of me but then he disintegrates he's like poof he's not here anymore like he teleported himself somewhere else and uh, some of them almost look like those dogs, they're just a hybrid of some sort. And then I see you at in Antarctica lab. Oh, that looks familiar. That's a black shield facility. There's a strange thing I see. It's almost like some machine with a metallic type of uh, like you draw a wave like this and the, they're all like rollers and they're like they're printing literally printing uh, tissues organs all kinds of stuff and I see you laying like your body laying on the table here and the, you see a different look too is a very light skin and white hair and... right because it's a clone of yours but it's connected to you so yeah i saw long white hair and a, a very light skin right it's it takes 12 percent of your energy from you and um yeah i see them like they're like overlaying him with some skin in some parts and also see them putting like a heart and a liver it's almost like they're trying to improve the tissue structure and overlay him with technology because what I feel is going to happen is the things is just going to come out from his body like laser type uh, guns or something like this and his eyes are kind of funky looking because it feels like he can literally destroy somebody with his eyes because they go like the energy is so strong coming out and they become bright blue and it's almost like they shoot a very powerful wave and can destroy the um you know, when you shoot a laser inside some being and he explodes from inside type thing, that's what I get. It can destroy anybody that way. But it's some sort of technology put in the in instead of the eyes type thing. Like eye overlay technology can be used. 
What's her name? Got some strange name here, Gregorian or something. And I see his eyes. They they eyes sh shape shift. I saw an eye of an eagle. There's some eagle DNA. And then there's a uh, some sort of like a uh, the creature reminds me like a uh, coyote or a wolf or whatever. Eight percent of that too. And then there's 56 of human, but then the rest is looks like reptilian type. A mixture of different types of reptilians. That seems to be it's gonna be on different missions and different different realities and planets. That one. Um, So let's let's go back and see disconnect from this facility. Oh, let's let and no, actually no. Let's stay in this facility and see how many clones they have here of you. Which number do you get? I saw twelve on you. Okay. So this one is one of 12. Do you want to see another one? Or would you, or we're going to disconnect after all of this. But if you want, we can see another one. That's what you want to do. Because yeah. we, let's see another one. I saw something. I saw someone suspended in a tube. I saw a, someone female at first. Mm hmm. Yes, was strange looking hair too. Reminds me kind of like separated chunks of hair. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it I see it too. Yeah, like Sonic type, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What is this one? Looking skin. Or do you see that being? Yeah, it's it feels like a female energy, but very strong and vicious type thing. Yeah, no, yeah, you don't want to mess with her. Um, yeah, guys, she seems to be walking around fine now. Yeah, they let they let you out, but I feel like it's testing, and then they would put you back in. To maybe improve something or things like that. I asked where she goes on mission, and she said she's not really allowed to remember. Uh, what's your name? Oh, hold on one second. Polly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and I saw a flash of uh, Ronald Reagan for a second. I felt like I was near near Reagan in the office with a big desk, a s small office, big burgundy desk, um, thick green carpet, um, bookshelves, uh, maybe a globe on. Uh, a wooden stand or frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. I see some statue of an eagle there, too. Kind of yellow big, big. It's like made out of wood on the shelf. <laughs> Maybe I was protecting him, it says. Um, what do you feel like you were doing? What, what was your role? Yeah, gathering information, maintaining, maintaining, maintaining a timeline. I also feel like you were a connector in between him 
and I see the tall grays and I see the uh, tall whites too. It's almost like you're a connect connector between the informational receiver and transformer, you know, you just like into their database on the moon because I see the moon and I see the room, computer room. And I see you going through some door in the White House and you would end up in this uh, computer room on the moon. And you would like literally p connect your consciousness with a computer and I could see downloading information from you, from your brain, from your consciousness, you know. Interesting. Hmm. They would use you a lot for the different kind of missions like that related to the White House or the mayor's office and things like that. Two. Don't explore something else here. More? Or? If you want, we can disconnect from this one and um, let's disconnect from Antarctica, from Miss Reagan, and maybe go see why you saw in the very beginning of the session why you saw that device or what was that that you saw something high tech you said device yeah it was pretty high tech and it looks like it but it looks kind of steampunk you know like old old high tech mixed with new high tech mm -hmm. old energy technology mixed with new energy technology like right. You know, the Tesla coil, you know how it had the structure, like the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It's like that is built around this cube. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I see it. Let's go see where it's been used. No, why you saw it. Let's go to the moment when it's being used. See yourself there. Yeah, I see myself there. Hmm. How do you see yourself? Oh, I'm looking first person. I, I don't see. Hold on. Then, yeah, I can come out and look at yourself from above. It's. It looks like. It looks like I'm just watching Tesla. Mhm. Mm Oh, so you, you're being Tesla or just reminds you? Just reminiscent. Yeah. Yeah, what, what do you do with that device? I see the image of a paint roller. So it says to white, it's, it's whitewashing. Um, it might be some, some technology to sort of, to whitewash memories, to whitewash collective consciousness, to, to change thoughts. Right. But, but, um, it's it's sort of been adapted on old technology. Yeah, it's almost like uh, overlaying with new programs, changing them up. Right, but the base is the same basically. Like that. Yeah, I see some interesting thing too, like a like a ball with antennas or receptors that's all covered with it almost looks like a dandelion thing but it's like met metallic and structure and the ending of those spikes are con 
connecting with each other through energy and there's like blue energy all around creating like the tesla ball you know yeah but i think it's like a representation of that consciousness but in a kind of hive mind type thing with antennas or receptors being like humans with the soul connected to each other through the head um by the by by the minds you know, to each other because that's how it looks hmm. do you see the year where this life is yeah well i just saw a 1945 flash but i was also just in what looked like I saw a windmill in um, somewhere in Europe. It just seemed like a European yeah. agricultural, you know, there a windmill for, for agriculture in Europe. So that just, you know, changed for a second. And then I see more of a Mediterranean villa with the, uh, I don't know the type of, the roof, um, of the sort of the red clay or sandstone, uh, red clay, you know, shingles on the roof. That happened quickly. Uh, do, you see, do you think it's Italy? Yeah, likely Italy. Sicily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw like 1928, maybe that's a year of your birth there. Let's see. Yeah, it's interesting. Let's go to to some interesting moment. Something important happening in your life. This one. I just saw the Earth out of a space station window or something. And and you know, as it as a sphere, I don't. You know that this so many people would say, "Oh well, the Earth is flat." And I think, well, I've seen other planets from the. I've never. I don't have any recollection of seeing the Earth um, from from space, and I don't know if this is like a. It could be a hologram. It could be anything. It could be some sort of. You know, you look out the window and see one thing, but you're. You know, somewhere, somewhere completely different. Right. Yeah. I actually see. It's almost like, was you here? Imagine it's like uh, a circle in the middle, like a bubble. Yeah, it's like a circle window, right? Right. Yeah, it's a big bubble, and there is like bubbles all around, and they're connected with the energetic cords or connections and the whole thing is like spinning and it's it's like the energy of that the spinning you know the inertia kind of pushes you through each and every bubble making you go through each and every spiral inside the bubble which we call life <laughs> And also, you are always in that that in the middle. It's kind of like a center of control of the whole thing. I know why I'm seeing this, but I feel like you've been a lot of dealing with energy and understanding of how it works in terms of like geometry almost or form formulas, energetic formulas, how everything is built in space and constructed how the programming of each and every star or planet works uh, in order to create it you have to program it in a way the energy like you know how to program energy and that's why they were interested in you you know i'm curious let's go to to the the place you come from and how they how they brought you to Earth, how they make you, how they made you incarnate here. 
Because I feel like... I see on a on a spaceship. This looks very interesting. A spaceship that way. It almost looks like a flat, yeah, flattened Scorpio thing. Oh yeah, you see that? I like those ships. Yeah. Yeah, they're made out of metal, but it reminds me of Scorpio. And you were on it. There's a lot of different ways to go to different places on it. It's all metallic, uh, metallized inside. And I see you as a t very tall humanoid. And you just looked at me, but you wore like a helmet and a suit, like a jumpsuit. Uh, it's like a gray with gold and something stripe or how do you how do you see yourself? Just look kind of like long face. Was it Well but I'll start at the ship and then hopefully work there. I so I saw the ships when I was I believe I was you know, on an Arcturian ship in uh some work I did with James. Mm. Yeah, you do look like an Arcturian because it's like a very elongated face to me and the chin is very like um, pointy and I see the big eyes but I, I do see the helmet and the uniform and you looked at me like you saw me but you didn't really care because you're so immersed into something that you're doing but I also see some um, lizard type beings and the interesting thing, they're all dressed in jumpsuits, but they're black jumpsuits, some dark, but they're shiny, shiny dark gray or black, it depends on the lightning inside. Some rooms are darker, so some are so light. And I see this one room with a big round table in the middle. And it's interesting. Inside it almost looks like a flower with petals. Petals, petals go all around. They're kind of elevated. And each petal is like a seat. And the center of it is like a table. Do you see that? It's interesting. They're like chairs, yeah. but... Oh, yeah. It's really gorgeous. Looks pretty. But I do feel like you are... Um, those lizards are walking around, like, controlling you. Because I do see some implant on the back of your head. It's almost like a cylindrical thingy with a little snout or whatever it's called, I don't know. Because you can attach something to it. Um, it like through it you can insert programming into the whole uh, implant. Because when I touched you and I saw this implant, it's like it's really bright metallic inside your head. In others, you have the same, and I see the lizards are controlling the ship like they took you over and they integrated their control by it sounds like um, they lied to you, they tricked you into trusting them in the, in the beginning, in the first place, and then they slowly but surely penetrated, infiltrated your group of beings and took over your control system and now they're rather controlling you but you're not aware of it and if you see that trying to touch your uh those beings it's like on the back of the head there's just this metallic implant there and it's almost like they're twisting they're controlling the visual centers too 
and they can see through your eyes, they can project the, the picture of what they want you to see in your eyes too. That's what I feel that that's when it happened, the whole thing. So let's go now to your energies here and just call everybody who is all the alien races who's been using your soul for different programs. Who's been, you know, the, those beings who took over the, your race, your ships, everything. It's, they've been interesting in, more interesting in technology, more interesting in your consciousness. Because you're very wise, that's why. Because I see your subconscious standing, like your energy body is standing. And I see, first I saw the big yellow eyes, and that is this dragon came. He's very large, big. Yeah, I see him again too. He's got sort of, but yeah, these protrusions on either side of his chin. It's like with the rose, he's got protrusions. Right. He, he's got like this tan, the tan underneath him is tan, like a light, light color. And then the, he's got the red and black scales. Right. And so you froze him, so he stopped moving. Then I see four tall grays, those funky looking, I mean, they, they almost look like they're hybridized also with the um, ant beings, the way the shape of the head is, like gray skinned, kind of like dark blue eyes, they're different from red, normal grays. I see four of those. You know, I see almost like a creature with the wings. There's another one, but it seems to me like um like Draco type being with huge wings behind. He's very ancient and wise. I feel like that's a race that claims to be the the wisest because I see him like the face looks almost like a snake face. Do do you see that being too? And yellowish skin. I wonder if you see him. I feel like he's the one who shows up a lot in your meditations or he shape shifts into different beings. He's very like um vicious but able to shape shift and whatever by using your energy. Yeah, it's the first time I've actually been able to picture you know, this a being like that and now he's he's showing me he's teaching me something um with weaponry he's showing me something with weapon yes because they're like old warrior race do you get the name of them Hold on. Hmm? yeah maybe Or, or ask him his name. Like, I got Y, I, like, Yin Tak. Mm. Y, I, N, T, A, K. Yeah, very interesting. What's the race name? How do they call the race? Ask him. How do you call your he doesn't, he doesn't want to tell me. Yeah. I, I see him transforming into like his face gets. I, I get flashes of him being, he looks like almost like a Nordic perfect face with white skin and blue eyes. We can do that too. So you froze that one. Um, boy, there's like a lot of them. Let's go with the dragon first. I ask him to bring the contract. 
What contract did you sign with him? Well, who is in charge of him? If there's anybody in charge of him, he should come and bring the contract. The contract looked a little bit deceitful. Like they, they had handed me something that said, oh, Boy, you sure got bad marks on your last round. You really ought to improve that by coming with us again and, and getting better marks this time. You know, you, you know you you know care about success. So you know, come with us again because you didn't do so well last time. Yeah, I see. Um, I see you subconsciously asked for another one because this is just a. Uh, trying to deceive you again i see like a book do you see a book you brought like you have to order them because you discover them they all attach to you they all drain in your energy and once you they were all planning on using you for this long because you just simply didn't know they were and now you discovered they are using you so they are your prisoners of your energy sphere. Your energy sphere is your house. They entered your house without permission or lied to you to do that. And now they're using your energy for creating whatever they want to create. And some things, you know, most of them you didn't even agree to. So now you can order them around because you discovered their lies and deception. Tell them to bring that book, those contracts, all of them. Yeah, he sort of said, show me in this book where I deceived you. Find, find an example of that in this book. And I flipped to the page and like immediately, and it was a very, very thick book. And he sort of flinched and said, oh, you know, damn it, he got me. Yeah, okay, take the book and just figure out how to as a creator being you can create anything um do anything with it to destroy it to cancel it out to burn it whatever you want to do you can just draw a portal mm, in the wall with your finger just like a door and first burn it and then throw it out or or create something different it's up to you. What do you do? Yes, I sort of did all of the above. I, I, I sent a copy to somewhere, I don't know where, for to, to be reviewed. For. Why did you send a copy? Oh, uh, I wanted to, someone to look at it um to to have it be uh, how do you say you know lo you know looked at for all sorts of i don't know like le legal premises like you know different different ways that you know i guess cosmic the lo cosmic law could be used how it was broken where it was upheld this sort of thing mm, just make sure it arrives true into the right hands because you know they can use it to reconnect with you if they somehow get it again yeah i recognize the being that got it i, think. I trust yeah. her i trust her too just make sure to touch the being look into the eyes and read the being's dna what's the original dna of that being because, you know, they're very good at uh, projecting different uh, images in front of you that you would trust. But then in reality, it's not that image, just a hologram. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel so strongly either way. So I'm just going to destroy it. I want to destroy it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good decision.
to to do it? Yeah, it's it's gone. Okay, great. Yeah, you can um ask this dragon to show you which implants are his in your energy body or you can find them yourself and take them out or he can take it out take them out whatever you decide whatever you want to do ask him if he has if you put any implants in you and what they're for do you have implants in me and what are they for please It seems like there's one towards, like, you know, sort of my tra trapezius muscle on the left side. Mm hmm What is this for? It's a function. It looks like a really, really s making very small calculations, maybe. Small calculations for what? I don't know. Ask him telepathically. He should answer you. He says really, it's for anything, like, you know, just really might, you know, the, the smallest, um, making very fine calculations, like, to, to, you know, the, the very, very long decimal point to, to the numbers, you know, um, yes. very small fractions. Okay. Um, so ask him how much energy, what's the percentage of energy he was taken, uh, taken from you all this time? The percentage 13, that's, that's the first number I saw. Okay, good. So, yeah, take this, you can take this implant out by yourself or ask him to do it. I understand the, the purpose more. Mm -hmm. What is that? It was to change my direction, like, in very small ways that would affect, affect outcome later. In ways that would seem that wouldn't seem significant at first at all. Right. Makes sense. Okay, what are you doing with the implant? I tried to take it out and sort of I'm like holding it and it's grown larger and I Trying to just destroy it. Mm hmm. Okay. You don't have to destroy it, you can just throw it out in the portal. Okay. Because it's very like they make it custom made, so they cannot reuse it to, for anybody else. Okay, and you can tell the dragon to follow the implant, go in that portal too. Because you broke the contract with him, so you refuse to deal with him any longer. Yeah, he's, he made his way through. Okay, great. Close the portal. Let's go to those tall greys. And uh, they just order them to for their 
whoever is in charge of them to come and do the same thing, bring the portal. One second, I'll be right back. See the uh, who came with the uh, contract? Do you see the uh, the being who came with the contract? Who's in control of those grays? Yeah, he was. He was like what, had some different colors. It had like yellow and black on him. Um, as a designation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how does the uh, contract look like? Theirs isn't like, theirs was like, you know, if you really want to be good at combat, you want to be good at all this stuff. You, you know, you really, so it was like, you know, I more like I fell for it. Like, you really need to, you know, our services, you really need to sign up with us. We're, we're the best. But it's still, it's like, you know, that that wasn't really what they wanted. They didn't want to train me. They wanted to use me. So it's over. So it's like. Right. And it just like lied to you and twisted everything. But ask them. What what the implants did they put into your energy body? Uh, I just I felt my hip, uh, my right hip. What is it used for? Yeah, I see. It's like sort of a metallic. Piston. Mm hmm. Buttons at the top. What is it used? For? Um, it has to do with camouflage at first, they said, they, they showed me, um, invisibility suit, or? camouflage more, it's, I think more from detection, mm -hmm. um, from, um, non-sentient or rather not non-sentient but more like sort of artificial intelligence drones and stuff um, right can they change your vibration with that device So let's say make, make you go through certain portals of certain vibrational frequency. I see, like, I saw some comments um, on the tail celestial bodies. I, I don't, I can't, I'm sort of losing the trail. Okay, so they said. Focus on that device, so take it out and ask them if there's anything else in your body that belongs to them. Yeah, my left, my left shoulder. Okay. My right shoulder. Both shoulders? I think so. Yeah, like little metallic. I'm struggling with things. 
looks like a little metal. I see like little metallic tubes attached to each other. Like both shoulders are connected with each other, um, forming like no, like two little X's. Mm, inside the shoulder. Yeah, two little X's that are made of tubes in each shoulder. Mm hmm. Okay. This was, I, I think, to keep me from discovering, you know, to keep me docile, to keep my shoulders not. Um... Hold on, I just saw it. I'm trying to catch it catch a vision of me as a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it shows me that they were put in when I was young. And it was painful, I remember. They gave me like, a serious shock on each on each side, the right right side and left side. Mm -hmm. Was to 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 um to keep to keep my body from being more open and more open to energy on this you know this life right here, so I can you know, understand what I, who I was. I think I don't know. It's, you know it's, yeah, to to keep you yeah. But not knowing, disoriented, ignorant, or whatever. Right? So, yeah, that's the right word. Okay, yeah, take those out to put them in front of you and, and focus on your head. Do you see anything in your head they, that belongs to them, that group? Yeah, there's something um, that looks like a, a disc with another disc on top of it, and then four wires coming out of it. Okay. And it was to inhibit energy flow, to, to sort of depress, depress my mood, to... Yeah, to control the... Hormonal release and all this. It's like a program on the discs to to amplify certain emotions, certain vibration. Okay, take that one out too, and look at your back, like all the way in the back of your, just to make sure. I see a lot of weird stuff in there. I don't know. Does it belong to the grace? Is it there? Are there their implants? Or ask them. One of them is like having sort of a, a weird response. He's like not. Not his? No, it's like he's like having like I don't know, it looked like, you know, like a seizure or something. It was not, it like, it was a emo very emotional, like, as, as emotional as I've ever seen a great get. But, um... I think you're just taking implants out and you're raising your vibration by doing that and they don't feel comfortable anymore in your space. Okay, then take those, so you took those implants out. Um, throw them in the portal and oh what are you gonna do with with that contract so that this guy the big one yellow and black all those colors or what contract did he bring let's go back there I think he kind of knows he messed up, or I don't know what. 
was it just like a, a subconscious agreement, subconscious conversation, and you agreed on something without a contract, or was it an actual contract that you signed? You know, I think it might have been something like, hey, do you want to play these really cool simulations? Do you want to try out these really cool simulations, you know, for free or something? It was, mm -hmm. it was a... Uh, more of a it, it was maybe a conversation right yeah yeah i see that too okay just open the portal you know they precede you yeah oh, and then they got to it was a trick like you know and then i got there and the weapons didn't fire right and then they sort of trapped me mm -hmm. and sat yeah. me like a trip trip chair right I can't tell how old i was Alright, good. We figured, figured that one out. So they're ready to go. Was the implants? Let's put them in the portal. Order them to follow the implants. Yeah, I see you move pretty fast. So just tell me when you're done. I'm done. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the being now with the big wings. This was a snake face. So he's frozen. You can make him small or whatever. I see him frozen. He froze him. You can do anything. You can turn him into a dog if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, make him bark. <laughs> You're in charge of him now. So because you discovered him. But ask him the same thing. Let's see if he has a contract, if somebody is above him, if there's a hierarchy of, of some sort, if he has a boss. I can't get much. I see some... Uh, not... Not the best tech I've ever seen, um, with some alien uh, scribble, scribbles on the side of it, some uh, like more round. We do you see that me me metallic, like golden being too, no, when I you don't. ask for a contract. No. Who's a contract holder? Ask. There's some now. Uh, there's some beings who call themselves contract keepers. Sometimes those are show up with contracts too. Ask him about the contract. Yeah, this was kind of lame. Like I got this. I feel like this was like an emotional appeal. It was like, come help me. Like I've been, you know, it's like. Like a uh, like a beggar or something, you know. I you know I'm so I'm so hurt, you know. I've been fighting this war for so long, and I you know I need soldiers, you know. Come, come help me. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's almost like he's got this uh, golden metallic, huge dragon-like winged dragon creature, who's uh, an AI controlled being like a machine that holds there's like a computer inside his belly literally and there's just all the database and he pulls out of computer like your file I see like a notebook type thing was only four pages inside like a folder was four pages inside 
know if you see that. Because I see your subconscious, you took it from him and you froze that one up too. You're just looking at the um, page on the side, that's what you said. Yeah, because he was trying to make it like we were buddies, but then this, you know, he had, there was a really official contract too. It was not. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay, so, yeah, just do the same as the contract, I guess, or something different, whatever you come up with this time. And just tell me what you do. I made it so, like, there was, like, it, it would get destroyed in what looked like an accident. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, just the same thing, the portal make them go in the portal um or ask them first if you want or unless you want to see what kind of implants connected to them because you can all also kind of feel the energy connection of certain implants to certain beings depends what you want to do Ask them or do it yourself. I'm just going to look, scan them, scan myself. Yeah, I see something in my like left hip flexor area. Uh -huh. Maybe on, yeah, maybe on the right too. It looks like a spiral, like a spiral. It's sort of painful tearing it out, honestly. Your what, sorry? I didn't hear. It's slightly painful. Like, well, not actually. But take I can, it out. Yeah, it seems like, you know, it's, 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 it's something that it was, it was pretty stuck in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, just gently take it out. There we go, that's Perfect. Now observe yourself from from head slowly. Down the neck, the back of the neck, back of the head, everywhere. That area. Is anything else? belongs to them. Yeah, I see one, um, I see one sort of uh, pyramid shaped uh, device in my right half. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you can ask them if you're curious what it is for. Um, what do you feel it was for? I think that one was for a uh, uh, shape shifting. Okay. Great. Just take it out. And just look. Further down, just feel if anything else they put into you. Yeah, 
Mm. Yeah, there's something on my like left forearm. Mm -hmm. What does it, it look like? It sticks deep, and it was for like tissue seeds, so they could collect tissue samples or blood or something whenever they wanted. Yeah, they attach something to it. Yeah. Okay, take it out slowly. You can ask them to take it out gently if you want to. out completely. Yeah, it seems to be out. Okay, great. Let's put it down before you. And let's check again. If there's anything else anywhere. Look on the back and front. You can actually touch your energy body with your hands because sometimes there are transparent implants that would only kind of like you could only see them when you touch them. Yeah, there's something on my left front rib too. It's sort of like a, a something more spiky. Mm -hmm. And that was, to, I think, control my emotions um, through adrenaline, maybe? Yeah. Connected to, to the hormonal production. Yeah, it's, it's all like a system, really. The implants. Okay, good. Take this one out. Let's see. Uh... If there is anything else, are you ready? Okay. This is this was on the rib. So you have to go down, see anything else. Just go all, all the way around. Just gonna look from, then zoom out and look at that from that point of view too, because some implants actually move, it's like nanotechnology that moves. So it's harder to detect. Yeah, this one, I, I found one, I think, that changes shape. It, that um, it actually put out a signal that it was being messed with. Mm. But... What does it look like? It started it started as a like a cylinder, like an oval cylinder. Mm hmm Capsule type thing. Yeah, like a football, but like a like a rugby ball but smushed and long. Mm -hmm. And uh, it changed. It's just it's, it's almost like it opened 
opens like wings or something. That's how I see like triangle wi triangular wings on the side. I don't know how you see it. Curious. It seems parasitic. Mm -hmm. Just, just sucks your energy, or what does it do? Yeah. Seems like it ch changes energy. Okay. Not just get rid of it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you can throw the implants one by one like that, or put them all together and then throw the whole pile out. Doesn't matter. Yeah, when you're done, let me know this. Just trying to see some other beings coming. Yeah, I got like a sort of a wire thing out of the back of my head, too. Yeah, that's the wire that was connected to the other implants to make you release certain hormones like adrenaline when they need it. I can order them to go to the portal too. Just taking plans. Yeah, I see like someone's home world, and there's like these towers that. Um, look like. Uh, like this, like the Space Needle, you know, Seattle, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. very different than ours. Yeah. I look at, look, look who, what, what kind of beings live inside. I think we're seeing the same thing. I just saw them too. I mean, I got a light colored gray at first. Mm hmm. So, you know, How tall? Short. What is that, sorry? Uh, kind of short. Short. Medium, um, medium to short size. Yeah. Are, are those the drone kind ones? Or, or the ones who control the drones? I think. Or the different... I mean, there are different types of graves, too. You see them. Are they robotic in nature? Or? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Yeah. Look who's in control of them. Or Trace is yeah. using. They get taller, gray. Mm. Taller grays are using them, right? Like slaves type thing. Yeah, and the funny thing is that the, the slaves think that they are... Um, they're, they're, Quite, they think they're pretty. Con they're kind of. They look content. They look right. happy. Yeah, yeah. That's that's their system. How they enslave star races. They they're not even aware they are enslaved. They actually are. That's what they they did to your race too. Is those implants? Yeah. And okay, let's disconnect from those and let's go back to your energy sphere. So you got rid of getting rid of those, you know, the winged one or the metallic one and all the implants. And let's call if 
there are any other beings in your energy sphere. Because I see some, um, but I want to just see them too. I saw some like Nordic or Lyran looking light skinned, long haired beings. And then I saw like a, a what looked like a dwarf, you know, out of, um, you know, fantasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the small, small kind of humanoid type creatures. Yeah, sort of, you know, kind of fat, maybe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> With a beard, but, you know, some, you know. I think, like gnomes. Yeah, you. yeah. The picture they showed me was, you know, a little, you know, exaggerated, I think. Yeah. Well, touch them and read their DNA, if that's... Is, if that's just the picture or the original shape. I see something more sinister. Mm -hmm. What do you see? I see sort of a mask with um, the slits and slits for eyes. A very emotionless expression, sort of ro very robotic. Can you take the mask off and see the real face, or yeah. just your... Yeah, sort of a, a nasty uh, insectoid. Mm hmm Yeah. So, the insectoids are next to, next to the Nordic-looking or Ple like Pleiadian-looking beings, right? Yeah. Let's see if they are... Ask them if they're connected. If they work together. Yeah, the humanoid species looks like kind of afraid of afraid of uh, knowing that this they they see the the dwarf being and they're less you know they're they'll trade with it I think but they you know they wouldn't do so with this what looks like a you know a very like a board like a, you know a really really big. Mm -hmm. What do they trade? I'm fortified. Um. Ah, oh, yeah. Like she's. You know, battle station or, or you know carrier craft. Uh, now it looks like that you know the dwarf has like you know st some precious stones. What do they do with them? What do they need them for? It seems like they sort of they get sort of intoxicated with them or something, and the only thing I I can't really describe the the thing the humanoids would give, but it looks like genetic material of some sort. Okay. They also trade that, and I feel like they take energy from the stones. They almost like charge themselves up with those too. Uh, okay, so let's ask the dwarves first. How did they connect to you? Did they uh, do? The, did you sign something, or was it something else? Yeah, they ran into this thing when they were. In Exploring, you know, it was they said it was like a bad sci fi movie, you know, where they were, you know, like exploring and they, they came across something that was very terrifying to them. Mm -hmm. and yeah. now, now they're connected, now they. So then, no actual contract, it just kept in that way. Yeah, I think, but I think that you 
you know, maybe this creature took took some of them as tribute or, you know, ate some of them and now they're sort of, they, they do look a little bit droned. They, you know, they don't look like they're, you know, fully themselves. Yeah, like, uh... Maybe, maybe like how you saw me on the ship with the reptilians, you know, they, they don't look all there, but... Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a slave race also, but almost like a hive mind to me because they almost like mo make the same moves. It's not much difference. Okay, so who is in charge of them then? Let's call in charge. I saw like an elfin princess. Mm hmm. Yeah. With a blue gown, and she's very beautiful. Okay. And she sees herself as, you know, you know, way above them. Yeah, so she's in control. Ask her if she has a contract with you, if you have. How did she connect? No, uh, with the with the being the, the small beings or the dwarf. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she she went. This is how the 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 uh, this she was more of a projection from this uh, larger uh, you know station or you know hive mind or or sort of. Uh, mm -hmm. AI insectoid race, I want to say. She's mm -hmm. more of a projection, you know, how this, you know, race wanted to appear or something. She she was less of, like, a commander and more of the... Uh, Representation I, of their race or... Uh, but, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, um, really? let's see. Yeah. Let's see if uh, they put any implants in you. So, how do they control you? What, what kind of technology do they use? Yeah, I look for like small, like a like a very small battery disc, like a disc-sized battery on the back of my skull again. Mm hmm My left jaw lit up, too. Oh, good. But it, how does it look in there, in the left jaw? It's just the same. It's very small, just, it looks like nanotech. Mm hmm Tiny. Yeah. Okay, take them both out. I see you taking them out. Yeah, I can. Oh, I see that you're throwing them in the portal. So go check everything else, every other part, the energy body, you see, anything else. Yeah, something in my pelvis too. What is this for? My get my thought on these other um, making hybrids. No, this I they, they not they, but I think this is like more for spying. Mm hmm. Okay. Take it on two. I see you doing that.
so straight it out. Let's go again. Let's shut down with legs. On the back too, from behind. Yeah, I see small, sort of very thin, like uh, like chips, or mm -hmm. uh, just just like very small in my in my uh, spine. Yeah, you can create any like even like a little hand vacuum, but suck them out. Yeah, hey, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that they wanted data, and even I wanted some data with this um, collective, we'll call it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep using you as a collector of information thing. Yeah, you can just go throughout the whole body from head to down. Just use that vacuum device to get everything out. All the little pieces and parts. And then attack. Pull a lot, I pulled as much as I could out. Yeah, that's good. I can just get rid of that vacuum thing now. And, uh... So we talk to... the Pleiadian-looking beings, to the dwarf, to that projection, kind of like, figure that out. You probably put them in the portal too. Whenever you're done, I keep seeing this other beings. Just want to tell you. Very, very strange. As you're throwing everything out and just commenting the other ones in the portal. Can I describe to you? So they're like brown looking skin, but they look like the snout like a crocodile, but thin. An alligator, rather. And uh, the head is kind of like a big um, brain, round on top and they're dressed in kind of brownish um, robe 
probes. I see right, right now like two of them. But they're very like low vibrational energies coming from them. Just very low vibrational beings. And um, I feel like because they told me I asked them telepathically and that they said they're the ones who find recru recruiters for those SSP programs too. So, but it's like they work on different timelines, different parallel realities, um, kind of like different, different uh, beings work on different ones. So. Yeah, I see myself just moving backwards in time from them right now. They had a sort of um, a device that was spinning on a stick, and as they spun it, I got closer. But I sort of, you know, watched that in reverse. So I'm, you know, getting farther and farther away from it. Right. Yeah, you can also just change that moment, change the timeline. Uh, go to that slide in that movie of timeline where you got attracted. They got your attention. That's how they get you. First, they get your attention, then they use some technology to lure you in and change that. So you never paid attention. You just like flew, flew away or walked away from them. Never really believed on what the trick. Um, so you can just cut this slide out, it would fall out, it never happened, all you have is experience, you always have your experience left in your essence, so you'd, you would never, nobody would, could ever use that trick on you anymore, but at the same time you change the timeline, so, and you got disconnected from all the programs, they lured you in, at a soul level, so because they're connected with those beings that are standing here. And if you want, you can ask them or go yourself to get the files from all the SSP programs that you were involved in. I see like a huge pile of those. Yes, a lot, a lot. Oh my, they're different colors too. It's like you've been in different positions. Different programs. And of what you want to do with them, you can just like burn them all up at the same time and disconnect or whatever you want to do or open C. But I see a lot of them. Yeah, I feel like it's a really strange place in uh, time space right now where, where I'm looking, I looked at a really strange crux, like a, like a meeting point or a divergent, diverge, divergent. Like in between, um, like in some sort of like buffer zone type thing. Yeah. Yeah, because all those beings and contracts, everything's connected to kind of like different realities and you're like in between trying to sort them out to get rid of them and disconnect from all of them.
I just, what did you decide to do with those contracts? I even see purple color, I wonder what this one is for. I'm with someone that seems familiar to me. And what is that? Rather not say. But I see <laughs> sneaking up behind someone on a rooftop, like pressing pause on time and sneaking up behind them and Mm -hmm. taking them out and I said I said you know, there might be some valuable information in here not the contract part of it but mm -hmm. and I said you know let's find if there's some you know good good ones of these so I, I gave some files to someone and I, I tested him okay yeah, I tested him. It's 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 the real deal. Okay. And I I think that it's um it's okay. And then the other ones, I can see them sort of breaking apart in this this weird gear of time space that they just get sort of destroyed, and then the energy gets just recycled through you know the the gears of time or space. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. You you're following that person. Yep. Yeah. Yes. What are you doing? Now we're in like sort of a what looks like a like a workshop or like you know a, like a like a workshop that someone would have in their garage, like a very nice you know like. Mm -hmm. earth earth type of thing and we're we're like building stuff you know we're working on projects mm -hmm. and we have a we're not this is stuff that we want to do it's not being forced on us or we're not being tricked into it so. okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, you, you got disconnected? No, hi. I just saw, I didn't. I didn't oh, see. you saw her? <laughs> That's my five year old, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can take her out. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't okay. expect my husband was supposed to watch. Okay, Marie, put him. What? Oh, she opened the door. <laughs> She's really funny. She said hello. Yeah, I know. She's funny. Okay. Part three. So you start following. I I was actually as you were following uh, him. I. Uh, I saw you on Mars and I saw you running as a soldier but in that kind of like, um, you know, the uniform almost looks like the surface to like a mimicry, like a camouflage mm. to mimic the surface of Mars. 
this is a color I saw. I see myself there too. That's how I know you. You have this interesting thing on on the head too. It's almost like a vision goggles too, attached to the helmet type thing. Something like this, like some technology. But yeah, just go ahead with your with your vision. You're still in trance, right? Yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. See a door, like a wooden door with like a, uh, uh, like how do you like a cross on it? But it's just it's not meant to be religious. It's just built into the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go in. See what it is. I see it too. It's like very thick, big, like solid wood. Yeah, open pit. Or just like a big forest, uh, like a tortoise, like a turtle. Ah, uh, turtle, yeah. I can't see it yet. I feel like I see like a vortex of energy. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I touch that to tortoise. It's like um mm, yeah, there's a race that kind of looks like turtle head, <laughs> but you see the uh, the back too, like like the shell, right, of a turtle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like want to go down this road. Okay, yeah, it feels uh, like a trap to me. Yeah. To go back, pull yourself out, get to the moment before you, open the door. Let's go back to. Yeah, let, let's just finish up with the beings and the contracts. And we got this pile of contracts that they brought from all the programs. And what you want to do with them. I mean, I sorry. There's a there's scaffolding with a green plastic around it. Mm -hmm. Very bright lights, and it was either. A testing ground, or it was something. I don't know. I'm. I i do not get the best feeling from this either. Oh, you're just going. Yeah. It's it's almost like. They're trying to distract you for, from doing this, what you're doing right now, which is figuring out what, how to burn up or whatever to do with this contract you got here. You just have to focus your attention on that one. Because if you destroy the contracts, you can go through uh, once again your energy body, and then we have to go through the emotional, mental bodies too, with all the programming to cleanse those too. Just. Um, Tell me what you're doing with those contracts. Oh, I'm, there's I there's something that doesn't want me doing this, but that they're changing. Um, 
they, I, I'm, I want to destroy, destroy them, say these contracts were made under signed or made under duress or deception, and therefore I, uh, I'm breaking them because they were not signed with acknowledgement of full scope of these projects. Mm. If you can change that, you can mold them, change their molecular structure, so they cannot be reconstructed. Three or four more. Mm Okay, let's call on if any other beings um, connected to your to you to your energies here to show up in front of you. I see of like I see one of my bosses from a job I had where I really like and she you know she's really beautiful really beautiful person. She, mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. So ask her why she, why did she show up? There must be some significance to this. Yeah, she seems really distraught. She's just like, you know, keep, keep going. She seems <laughs> grateful and... Says, yeah, you know, I try, I trust you. Oh, interesting. So she just came to watch what you're doing to get information. Maybe I can give her information if she wants to check if she has any contracts. You can share. You can make any it into anything, Apple, a book, or whatever. She would absorb it. Is it her? Did you check her DNA? Is it her for sure? Uh, it might not be. Mm -hmm. What happened when you touch her? You see it like insectoid, like it's not, unless it's someone using her essence in insectoid being. Right. They just read your mind, whom you liked. Or you like the like shape of that person. And of course they tell you all the things you want to hear too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, or do a projection, yeah. Just simply around themselves like a hologram. So
so let's go down through if nobody showed up I shall see a lot of reptilians walking around like watching from outside your energy sphere what we're doing <laughs> yeah um, but let's um, let's do this um, the energy bodies right the mental emotional bodies you can put them through cleaning too like create a waterfall or do anything you want sometimes you can just lay them down and on the bed and make make it super sticky so everything whatever whatever programs are would get stuck to the mattress of the bed well, i mean the your creator you can create anything you want to make it work can you say the first part again yeah i think we um can go to the mental and emotional bodies and they usually have programming in them because when they put you through those ssp programs they always create trauma and trauma it's mental and associated with the emotions right to connect both so they can influence you through emotions or trigger you through certain emotions or through certain thoughts via implants that you used to have that you just took out so you can cleanse those bodies too energetic cleanse you know you can do anything you can do the same thing like you, you did with the another technology implants create a little vacuum and to kind of vacuum them out too i'm gonna sort of jump in like a a river stream or something mm -hmm. good idea I almost hear like the sound of waterfall. Like water. Yeah, you can make an intention of when you jumped in. So all the rest of whatever there was in your body that did not belong to you, artificially created, would get kind of pushed out and taken, absorbed by the water that you jump in. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, mm -hmm. did you do it? Just jump, jumped inside the pool of water? Yeah, I did. I'm sort of just enjoying it right now. Yeah, take your time and enjoy. Absorb all this beautiful feeling from it. This matches a lot of this, what we've been going through as I sit here in this cosmic stream, is matches a lot of dreams I've been having recently where there's a negotiation where it's a clear that the other party does not have the power in the negotiation. It's clear that I do, and they, they keep on trying to say, oh, well, you know, if you do this, you, and I say no. Mm -hmm. um, really quite interesting. Yeah, and then they try to trick you or 
do it through your dreams and you wake up and you don't remember or they, or they wipe, your, wipe your memory too. Yeah, this okay. one person had a deal for me and I said, okay, yeah, we'll check it out. Okay, fine. And then it went on and on and on. And, you know, I was being more careful in this dream and they eventually just ran away because they knew that they were busted. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they all, all they need is they somehow get your yes. And that's it. Okay, so check, double check your... You know, let's do this. Um, let's go back to the moments. Like, with your intention, you can kind of initiate it, uh, that intention and launch it throughout all the parallel realities and timelines where those moments to erase those moments where they took your genetic material to create those clones that we just saw in Antarctica and Black Shield as if they never they've never taken that material and never created those you can do that because or just disconnect and those clones would just die out slowly because they would not have your energy anymore. Whatever you pick. And the same thing with hybrids. What did you decide to do? What are you doing with those? Hold on. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I just would picture, I pictured a lot of hybrids and I just sort of pictured the, the screen going black. So whether mm -hmm. they were trying to look for me, that, that moment in time just sort of got wiped or, or I disconnected my essence from me. Right. Okay, perfect. <sighs> now you can check on your DNA. And you just imagine your DNA and touch it and see if there are any parts that don't belong to it, if they mutated it in any way. He sorted something. I guess I'm having a little trouble with It's hard to picture it. Yeah. I see it's like a interesting color that you have. It's it's almost like blue, but when I touch it, it becomes like a peach color, and then it 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 swirls like this. And I see number eighty one. That's what I see, like eighty one strands. And they go like twisting, and I see little red. Uh, balls, spheres. This was a glowing uh, metallic spheres. They insert it in some of the when they twist in those kind of nodules. They create a twist and fi fixate it with those red glowing balls. And your your subconscious is like taking them out. 
quickly one by one and there are 18 of them so it's just like you're holding it in your left palm of your hand and and then you put the hand together like form a fist and it, you see the the liquid you look with liquefied oh, i guess that's the word yeah made them into liquid and i just like i'll put the liquid into the portal that's what i see that's your subconscious is doing um was that and became like yellow from red and uh close the portal and then just touch the dna and you can actually now uh, launch a process of your own your own energy like filling up your body amplifying it and filling up every little uh, dent or indentation or all the parts where implants were to fill it up with your own energy of your own essence so to feel full and complete and also see inside your energy uh, body and um, do you see these are uh, very transparent touch touch your energy body and see those chakras but they're transparent they're, they're, those are chakra overlays it's like the alien technology and it's basically another deception that they put they created the whole ter term you know terminology of idea concept of chakras that you have to balance them that you're divided into those energy centers that you call chakras and and in reality those are the alien technology that would give them access to different energy points of your body so they can get attached to each of them and drain energy from you just feel them in your body and take them out one by one they're like connected with each other because your energy is supposed to flow freely there should not be any division like they tell us should it's just a lie it's another deception Do you see them? Do you feel them with your kind of fingers, energy? Just imagine your energetic hands and go through your energy body and feel like every chakra and take it out and throw it out in the portal. Yeah, I'm pretty good at picturing the colors. Yeah.
Just tell me when you're done. Just um, raise your vibration. Tell me how you feel now. Because each emotion um, or feeling corresponds to certain vibration. I started frequency. Wait, there is this interesting thing I see, because I was wondering where the sound is coming from. There is like, literally like a jellyfish, and it's, it's robotic in nature, it's an AI technology, and it looks like it's got its tentacles, almost like playing with the, um, like you're playing the guitar, with the line, with connection that we have in. Every time the tentacles touch it, it like makes that sound. <laughs> it's like a strange resonance or whatever the uh, like white noise. Uh, no, there's better word for it. You know what I mean? Do you hear it too? I do hear it, yes. Because I see it, it's almost like it's automatically sent to people who do sessions of like, you know, liberating themselves to kind of play around and try to disconnect. It's not, it's not connected to you, but I feel like it's pretty much watching you because of the, um, because they understood that that's what you want. You want to set yourself free and they would kind of like keep an eye if they can get a chance to reconnect with you. It's an interesting thing. It's almost like invisible, but then you get closer, you see the metallic structure like exoskeleton that it has. But you can't really do anything to it because I don't see you connected. Um, yeah, you can walk around your energy sphere, around your energy body and just see if you have any cords or attachments yet, you know, and energetic ones. Or you can also double check your energy body, how you see yourself. Are there any other implants or energies in there that don't belong yeah I, well i can move my sort of this sphere around me and nothing is stopping it it moves pretty easily you know it spins when i spin it so that makes me feel good all right that's good yeah we can go also the last thing to um you can go back to that spaceship where you saw yourself and I saw that implant on the back of your head with those beings and just go all the way back to your planet where you were before you got on the ship where you, they got all of you convinced that you had to deal with them, that they the were, they had good intentions just kind of shoot you, you can shoot like a firework of uh, sparks or fireworks with information you know informational anything or rain um it actually happens automatically but just uh, to make sure to your race that you come from so they know about this malevolent beings and how they trick you're into contracts and basically can send information to everybody in your life here too. 
in this dimension. And if they are ready for it, they'll accept it and they'll use it. Just make an intention. Spread it everywhere. Yeah, I'm good at that. Uh huh. Great. Well, um, I think we're we're done because I see you clean. Just uh, unless you want to check on something else, like somebody you know, your relative, or you know, we can disconnect. No, I'm exhausted from this. This is been. I know. I imagine. <laughs> It takes a lot to, to focus and it's so... Right, yeah, it takes a lot of energy. After an hour, you're pretty much kind of depleted of energy. I okay. Great. I feel so great though, thank you, Oksana. Sure, yeah, it was an interesting journey. Thanks to you too. Okay, well, but you can just uh, kind of like raise your vibration, get energized, and I'll count from five to one or you can just get out if you want depends on uh some people want to count back to get back to the now time 